This box is normally locked up in a bank vault, but Doretta Pepper has decided that it's time to show off the contents to the world. The notebook is from the Royal Academy of Art in Brussels, where Van Gogh was a student in the late 19th century. Laboratory tests have confirmed the age and fidelity of the paper. This is the famous Per Tanguy. Here is another peasant, maybe is the one of the uh, persons of the potato eaters. This is another person of the potato eaters. Mrs. Pepper has been working to authenticate the book since finding it among the possessions of her late father, who was a member of the Greek resistance during the Second World War. They attacked the trains when the, the Nazis were going home, they were leaving Greece. This is the Nazi stamp. What is not clear is who the notebook belonged to originally and how it fell into the Nazis' hands. But now, according to Greek law, it is Mrs. Pepper's property. It's an inheritance from my father. And as nobody asked for it, uh, it's mine. <laughs> More than 60 years after being liberated from this railway, the notebook was examined by a Greek art expert called Athanasio Celia, and this is his report. Sadly, Mr. Celia is too ill to appear on camera, but I've spoken to him on the phone, and he's absolutely insistent that this notebook is the work of Vincent van Gogh. This photograph, said to be of Van Gogh, found alongside the notebook, is also being put forward as further proof of validity. A specialist dentist compared it to another known photograph of the artist by measuring the proportions of the head and face. As far as our measurements and our method uh, is very precise, so we can uh, say for sure that this is a picture of uh, Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van. He has many signatures. If the notebook is internationally accepted as genuine, it could sell for more than five million dollars. Mrs. Pepper believes it could also prove that some famous so-called Van Goghs are nothing more than fakes. Malcolm Brabant, BBC News, Athens.